Hi, I'm Melissa Benjamin. I'm a physician assistant student from Duquesne University and I'm at Seclair um, on my behavioral medicine rotation. Well, Laura has shown a great interest in nutrition and so she's done um, a couple presentations about how nutrition can affect your mood. Um, I think that dance and just movement in general, getting up and moving around, maybe going for a walk or stretching, something of that sort, um, can be very beneficial to anyone's mood. I think it um, temporarily lets you relax and forget about your stresses. And I think that um, music has a lot to do with that also. What I've been asked to do is incorporate dance into the uh, group therapy sessions. One of the sessions I had um, the patients stand up and turn around and face um, outside of a circle and then I would play a song and um, let them dance or move freely how they wished. Um, and then another time I actually was able to perform a dance that I choreographed um, just as a little entertainment and to show everyone what I'm made of. <laughs> I think that uh, we have a lot of insecurities about dance. Um, people don't understand that uh, when everyone's up there dancing together, no one's judging each other. There's really, I mean, at a in a wedding setting, who's judging who about their dancing skills? I mean, no one. <laughs> um, and you notice kids will get up and dance all the time because they don't have those insecurities and worries about judgments that other people will make. Um, I really enjoy uh, sitting in with the counselors and the one-on-one -on -one sessions that patients have with them because I think that's the time when I really get to know the patients and what is going on in their lives and just really get to understand what they're going through. So I, and every therapist has a different technique, so it's interesting to sit with each different one. I think that the, with the therapists, it's just a safe environment where people can go and talk about whatever is on their mind and just get it out get it out in the open and not have to worry um, about what may, might be thought of them because there's no judgments going on at all um, and also during those therapy sessions they get taught skills that they can take home with them and apply to their own life. There are chickens um, actually <laughs> they're used um, as part of the mindfulness. Um, patients can go down to the chicken coop and hang out, feed the chickens. We find them beneficial because one night we were told that we had to stay until seven o'clock and so we made omelets for dinner because we were not prepared <laughs> to eat. The um, the yes, <laughs> so the chickens have helped us out a lot. Um, and it's just, I, it's very different environment. You don't see chickens when you go to any other clinic. <laughs>